See, it was the nefarious fairy boys that brought Legina Gold into my life. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. About, did you really believe that was R. Kelly and Aaliyah's daughter? God, no. <laughs> Thank you. It was content. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. I was interested in what was going to happen once we got the results back for the DNA test, which she still ain't took. Because she know them made her parents. I'm sitting here looking at this girl like, you don't look like Aaliyah's side of the family and you don't look like none of the Kelly kids. That's why I call her lasagna cheese. <laughs> but see, this was the nefarious fairy boys little project. And they were like, we can bring her over here and we can blow her up and we can do this and we can do that. And they was like, and she keeps calling out for you and she keeps, and I'm like, well, let's see where it goes. I'm really not interested right now. Let's see where it goes. I said, I got a feeling this ain't going to go good. But let's see where it goes. And then the girl, and then the next thing you know, they call, oh my gosh, she calling for you. She's scared for her life. She says the Illuminati after her. Can you help her? Can you help her? So I got up. I raised money. The cash apps came in, sent her the money. She bought us up a ticket. She caught a bus to Texas. I picked her up in Texas. Brought her to my house. And we started filming and documenting. And it's crazy because real life is still holding all of those Legina Gold interviews that I did with them hostage. Really? They're not releasing them. They're not giving me my footage. Wow. And they just ran my life story again without my consent. When they know our deal was predicated upon them producing content for my podcast. You're not doing that. So why are you using the footage that we did together for financial gain? Yeah, because they More see you going viral again. They see you going viral again. They know. They know. So they yes, like no, but this, this is the thing, though. Everybody's been promoting the Blue Couch interview more than them. And now, apparently, they're so ashamed of that Blue Couch that they done, uh, moved over to some great uh, love seat. As if that's going to make people think that that's not what it is. Like, the fuck? It's just cheesy. Were you it's upset with them when they, when they interviewed your ex? No. Oh, okay. okay. Content is content. I was more curious why they were doing it. Because it was like, I think you had went to jail, and then before I knew it, he was right back on their couch. And I was like, damn, didn't they just do an yeah. interview with it? Yeah. I don't even think they let the week go by. <laughs> he was on the couch. I know. And guess what? They still have footage of my husband saying that he was going to blow the car up before we left for Phoenix. They edited it out. Mm. The interview with me and my husband that we did together after Chicago and all of that, they edited it out. When I was holding up the phone and showing how he was wigging out on me and how he had hit me the night before in the drive through of Fuel City. So they knew they knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know they, they may were, respond, they may respond to this. I'm just letting you know. I don't give a fuck. I know you don't. I know. The fuck you going to say? Jags unfair. Where? Why you tell them that, Jag? Mm -mm -mm. Maybe y'all should have been more worried about the person who actually helped you build your platform than trying to please that little one-eyed freak, Charleston White. What's your beef with Charleston White? That's why they tanked everything that they did because of Charleston White. What? You didn't notice Charleston was working with DJ butt naked not long after that and that crazy Prince Seller person who hates all the men and wants to kill all the men but she got like eight niggas on the side and she's on a new new dick every other night. I, I knew I knew about her and I, and I saw Charleston blow up and he slipped on somebody's show and said 
I, I make a million, just a million a year, just off of interviews. I said, damn, damn, okay. He ain't I just get money off that, that goddamn informant. Let me ask you. Let me let me tell you this about Charleston. I saw he was over there with the Aiden Rosses and the Ice Show Speeds over there. That, you know, he signed some kind of deal with Kick, but that whole situation with them felt very Illuminati ish. Like when you look at the footage, Aiden Ross is flirting with Charleston. Hey. You know. Talking about his meat, talking about his sausage. It just, it, it which gave... is interesting. Which is interesting that he was down for it. I guess he needed the, the money. I guess his wife ate through the last check with the door dash. You know, this nigga need to make all the money he can get. Because when that woman finally do leave him, she going to get him. Why he sitting over there letting the man say the gay stuff to him? I don't understand. I'll tell you one thing, though. Charleston, if you try to make any more problems for me in Dallas with any of the business that I'm doing there, because I live there, too. You you don't even live in Dallas. You live in Fort Worth. You live in Funky mm. Town. It's like 45 minutes away, yo. Mm. You mind your business in Funky Town, and I'll mind my business in Dallas. You keep trying to interfere with my shit in Dallas, and I promise you, I'm going sl to slap that fucking shit out your eye. That whole glass eye, I'm going to pop that fucking hoe out. Because we both know you barely tall as me. Oh, my God. It's your miniature ass. He just got pistol whipped not that long ago. Yeah, but then he said it wasn't. He staged it all for clicks and views. I don't believe that. I believe somebody bust you in your head, and I wish they did it. On the fake eye, so the hoe could have popped the hell out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Listen, I know a lot of people that watch me might not know who Aiden Ross is, and and I show speed and the Kaisenats, but you know they they play gay. They they do a lot of gay shit. I'm just gonna call it what it is. They 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 play gay, and you know Charleston White was around Aiden for a weekend. First off, this industry and spending 48, 72 hours together, and then all of a sudden you got to sign a contract. Charleston White said they was on some gay shit, some Illuminati shit, trying to make him sleep with a tranny. He said he wasn't going to do it. And then before we How know it, we he, know he didn't do it. He said he don't get down like that. That's what he said, but he was there. And y'all remember that scene where I show speed when he came in the room with that transgender and Aiden was like, damn, it smelled like shit. Y'all remember that, right? Woo! We had call me kinfolk on the channel. Don't make me pull up. The, don't make me pull up that video. <laughs> I'm just tired of people hating on other people's bags. Yes. Like worry about yours. There's enough out here for everybody. Worry about yours. And who cares how I get mine? Went in the back room. He should he shouldn't be worried with it. He shouldn't at all. Hold up, y'all. I want to give y'all a little context. So now we're gonna do a flashback of a flashback. Oh shit. So you just got done taking a shower and they got their shirts off. It's gonna sound if, if you don't you got you gotta play it because it's gonna sound like I'm just theorizing. But watch he gonna say how it stink when they come in the room. Speed it's too out like there. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. Don't even worry about it. A 1.75 million dollars yeah, this year from January to now, and the year ain't even started. Oh yeah, matter of fact, yes, yeah, at the I end. One point five million like, dollars. What are like you know, 21 minutes? 21 minutes. Okay. I think it's at like 21 when I start breaking it down. I'll go a little, go a little further. Go a little further. All oh, this back to what he was about Aiden Ross being used as a younger gatekeeper. Right. Oh. And this is what he does to these guys when they fly out there, they fly out there to L.A. And this happened to this. This happened. This same thing happened to speed. This same thing oh. happened to speed. Speed flew out there. And then this happened. Mind you. This individual right here oh, that's going to walk in. This. Oh, is a you got a transgender, right? Keep that in mind. Damn, what the fuck is that smell? 
Wait, you're right. That is a tie. I didn't even notice that. Man, it came in with a towel and everything. Oh, jeez. Oh, he just got, yeah. Yeah. yeah just, <laughs> oh, my God. Who keep me near the oh, crowd? <laughs> oh, my God. You know what's crazy, though? I'm looking. I'm looking Shout out at, to Roanoke. Her proper pronouns, she, her, hers. Okay. All right, so that, that's enough of a flashback. But I just wanted y'all to see. I wasn't right. making it up. No. I mean, that looks just about as um interesting as T.D. Jakes at a Diddy party. Oh, Diddy Diddy popping. We already know how Diddy get down. How you feel about Cassie outlining everything that Diddy did to her? He's settling so quick. It's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.